Great, today I'll teach you how to protect a total 2% of your body. Fallout, costume fallout armor. Scrap armor. I was outside talking with some people about costuming, and one of them said that they didn't have the money to make good costumes. And I said, hey, I don't have a bottomless wallet either. And on the way back to the bus stop, I saw this little beauty sitting in the ground. What is it? It's a piece of scrap metal, probably from a car accident that never got cleaned up properly. I think I've seen it before actually, so when I saw it, I was like, hey, it's that thing. So I ran back, picked it up, and got it. I'm going to wash it off um, and try to show you uh, how to make armor out of it. So let's hope I can get it cleaned up. Cleaned up using a J-cloth so it wouldn't tear through the J-cloth. Now this is mostly not sharp. There are a couple areas here and here you might need to worry about. We'll take care of those later using tape um, to reinforce them or cardboard or something. Um, I think this is where I'll put a clip. I'm going to be using a spare uh, lanyard for that to hold it on. Maybe I'll make shoulder armor. That's what I'm hoping for. This is a pretty nice uniform shape. You could also try to fashion this into, I don't know, like a blade or maybe even a gauntlet. But I don't think I need a gauntlet right now. I'm, I love pauldrons, so I'm going to go for like a bit of shoulder armor, hopefully. Um, uh, I use dish soap, uh, dry it off. I used it, uh, just paper towel to dry off so it doesn't rust again. Um, honestly, I was hurt more by burning water than anything this put out. So don't be too worried. Just be careful around these things. When I work with it, I'm going to try to put gloves on so I can keep myself better. But really, these edges aren't sharp. Not even that. It's areas like here and where it's been bent, you might need to work. No, that's actually pretty good. It's just these two areas here. This looks like a fairly well machined piece. Um, I only have one glove on at the moment because I think I only need one glove. One hand's good for operating the camera and other things. But yeah, good armored sort of gloves. These are mechanics gloves. So I'll try to bend it along here because I think this is where my shoulder's going to be on it. So this will curve around the front and this will curve around the back. I'll try to clip it all on the back that way. Maybe use tape. Because on this type of armor, duct tape is A-OK -okay because it's supposed to look cobbled together, and that's exactly what we're doing. Very easy to bend. Um, but I found this part and this part are the most likely parts to dig into me. Um, maybe this part around the neck, but I don't really see that happening that much. So I'm going to reinforce these areas, cover them in a bit of cardboard possibly, and duct tape to make sure that they don't cut into me. Last thing you need is some disease from rust. I've, uh, well, actually you can't see. I've covered it in a bit of cardboard just from a, a what's it called, um, cereal box. I just folded it and covered it, nothing too fancy. And then I basically coated the entire thing in duct tape. I didn't originally intend to coat the entire thing in duct tape. I only intended to cover enough to hold it in place. But I decided um, to make sure that it was really good and strong. And I found this. This is a bit of plastic that was actually used to hold my uh, pliers together. I ended up not having to use them because it was so easy to bend. But I got these to hold my pliers together. In the end, uh, like it came with it, the pliers, it was just holding it on the shelf. So what I did was I secured that down to the cardboard with duct tape. And I'm going to cover this with duct tape again just to cover up the logo and stuff. You don't need that. It doesn't look very 1940s. Now, one thing I should remind you is... Duct tape is okay in Fallout cosplays. Costumes, eh. I mean, cardboard doesn't look good in ar armor. Homemade armor with, like, junk armor made out of duct tape, that is fine. Now, it's a bit much um, on this. But I wanted to get it secure so it won't fall apart. Now, what I'll do is the lanyard has two clips. I'll clip it here, and I'll clip it here. So that way I can use the clip on whatever it originally was on, because it was part of a violin case. So I can still use the violin case, and then when I want to throw the armor on, I can. And what I'll do now is probably just reinforce the end just a little bit so it doesn't cut. I can tell it cuts because I hear it, like, dig into the car carpet, but this end, this, car this end's here, like, it's pretty good now. So I'll just fix that up, and it should almost be done. The armor. Secure it here, and secure it once around the back. The metal costs nothing. Duct tape. 
cost like you know 125 or whatever from the Dollar Tree this was just garbage cardboard garbage and a spare lanyard and I connected it in such a way that I can remove it later on and it doesn't look half that bad I mean it's not too heavy duty but it's actually it is heavy duty but I mean it doesn't look like heavy armor but it's simple armor I don't know like maybe a level 2 player but yeah so I don't know what you think of it, but yeah, that's how it connects on the back. Bad lighting, sorry. There, see? And it actually looks pretty good, and it has that sort of, like, Brotherhood of Steel rust look to it, too. But yeah, simple scrap armor. Remember, I don't have a catchphrase.